All right, so this is the uh, last video for the week. This is the second online video. This one's focused completely on doing a test build. So right here, test build, do the whole process this week, run into any issues, come into lab time, you'll have a smooth um, ending week. So this is what my painting program looks like. User ears will be uh, something similar. And now that you went through the whole process of learning about physics and ray casting and user input and screen the world position, and you saw that last script where there's just kind of this invisible, mathematically generated infinite plane, it's not geometry, it's just where our colliding region is sitting in front of the camera like 10 units and we're painting right onto it. It's just these aren't white spheres. You know, these are different color, different scale, what have you. Um, and I'm going to put up a test build for where I am currently at. If I click play, there's no UI, and it's just painting white spheres. This is it. This is where I'm at a week two. They don't even get destroyed, nothing. Eventually, if someone did this on their browser and that WebGL build, eventually it's just going to crash. So, but... I'm going to get it up and show you the process. So uh, it'll look like this. It'll be build, a link. This is what itch.io is. Let me open up another window and just say itch.io. All right, here's the website, itch.io. Um, let me, this is what the, the main board looks like. You know, create a user account. I, I don't think I need to go through that. But once you have um a user account um this is what your home page will look like for me it's my full name dot itch.io dot yep itch I dot io um and under create here what we're going to go through is this upload a new project so i've create i've gone to itch.io i've created a new user i'm at my home page what have you up in the top left there's this create menu, upload new project. So I'm gonna leave it at this position. This is what we're gonna go through to upload the project. Um, and that should be straightforward for you to get to this point. And here's the project um, at its current week two phase, which if you've gone through the videos, you should be able to get to this point. All right, so I'm just gonna save the scene just to get rid of the asterisk because we're going to do some building. Um, and you want to be good to go. All saved. And if I go to File and Build Settings, this menu pops up. Now, um, we're going to have to put a Unity scene here to build, and we need to collect, uh, select the platform. So let me go over scenes. So go to assets, right click, create folder, call it scenes. Um, and make sure to file save scene as you're working so that you should have some type of scene at this point. For me, the name of my project is intro 3D dev class projects. I'm currently on a WebGL build. I'll show you how to get to that. And this is the name of my Unity scene here. This is the version of Unity I'm on. So I'm on Sprint 01, Week 2 Click Detector. Okay, so I'm, I currently have this. This is my final sprint. So if I open up Sprint 1 Project, this is what it looks like. This is what you're familiar with that is currently up on HIO. That's great. Um, but... This is my current state of work, which is just drawing white spheres. And this is what I want to build. So file, build settings. I'm going to turn this one off or delete it. You might have in here like sample scene or you might not have anything. Let me just delete it. So, so you have an empty area. There's no scenes. You can either click add open scene. So it'd be like, oh, whatever scene you have open, it'll add it, which is sprint one week to click detector or if you go into your scenes and you can just drag it in either case 
There needs to be a Unity scene here. It needs to be clicked on. This scene needs to be named whatever your scene you want to build. Later on, you'll probably have a few different scenes. And it's very common to not update this, and you'll build it, and it'll be just a different, it'll be not what you expect. Just know that you need your active scene here that you want to build. Once that is done, you're probably on this platform. Whatever this icon, this is the icon for Unity. Your icon is probably up here on PC. What you want to do is click on the platform that you want to build to, in this case WebGL, and click Switch Platform. So I have WebGL installed. Some, let me click on something that you know, I have Android installed. I don't have iOS installed. This is good. So as you can see, there's many different platforms you can build um, out of Unity, which is why it's really popular. In case you click on WebGL and it looks like this, no WebGL module loaded, you can open the download page. And this actually gave me the module for Unity to build for iOS. Um, I'm going to go to downloads and just cancel that. But you will get something like that. If you do not have WebGL installed, click that. It'll download. Wait till it downloads. Double click it. Install it. You'll probably, it might be good to go, or you might have just have to restart Unity. I don't know. At either case, click on WebGL. If this Unity cube is not there, click Switch Platform, at which case this little pop-up will appear. It's going to have to um, recalculate all the files. So long story short, um, all this stuff that's in the assets, it has to get recalculated into this library, and this is what actually gets built. So that's why you can have so many different platforms you can build from from one set of assets. So in either case, if you click Switch Platform, it'll take a little bit of time, maybe 30 seconds, maybe five minutes, I don't know. But now you're at this stage. All right, you have your active scene turned on and build. You have this WebGL platform. You're switched to it. Um, I don't think we need to mess with player settings. Nope. We don't need to mess with that at that stage. We're good. You're going to click build. All right. So this is going to show you your Unity project, which is the same if I go down here, right click, say um, open and explore. It looks like this. You probably don't have this build folder. So if you just say right click and say new folder and just create a folder and call it build. All right. It's just you're going to put stuff into here. So you go into that folder, you say select folder. Uh, I'm not going to do it. Um, you know what? Actually, sure, I will do it because um, let me cancel for one second. Let me just open up show and explore because my previous build in there is like the working project. So just want to. Yeah. So this is what it is. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to put this, let me just group this under another, I call it Sprint 1 Final. I'm going to put all this stuff into that because I actually want to save it. I don't want to overwrite it. All right, so let's go back. Let's actually build this semi-complete Sprint 1 project. So create the build folder. Um, we're good. Oh, you know what? This is, um, I, had, I had two separate Unity projects. It's reading the other one. So this shouldn't happen to you, but I'm going to go. I was in my G drive, the Google drive. This project is actually on the D drive, my secondary hard drive. So in either case, I just had to navigate to it, and I create the build folder. I put my old project in this folder because I want to save it, and I'm just going to select and it's going to build. Um, and this is what it looks like. So just so you understand, there's this building player. We're building all our resources. It's packaging everything up. I don't think it's going to take too long. I just think it's a few more seconds. I usually don't show this, but since um, 
So first time for a lot of you guys doing a WebGL build, I'll just show you the process. So you should be as prepped as possible. The other thing, I'm using this OBS Studio, which doesn't have a pause video. It's great. It's free. It's open source. Well, it doesn't have a pause. While that's being built, I'm actually going to go over and I'm going to talk about HIO for a little bit. So what we're going to get, if I go back to my build folder and I open up my final build, is you will get this build folder, uh, a bunch of JSON, JavaScript stuff. You get this template data, a bunch of um, JPEGs, a bunch of images that get shown along that come along for the ride. So it looks like some some CSS style scripts or something. And you'll get this index file. And um, if I just open that, say edit with notepad plus and plus, that should be fine. If I bring it over, it's a very lightweight HTML document. Um, you got a title of the, the Unity and whatever the name of your project is, you can change that. You can change that in Unity, or if you didn't get to it, you can actually do it right here. But it um, just loads up a little container to run your game in and that's it all right so i'm going to take these three files and i like to use 7-zip but you need some type of zip program and then I, you can just zip it up and then what the end result is is you get a zip file that has these two folders and this index html file and then that is what you're going to upload here so give it a title um your project URL, just, um, I think if you write in your title, yeah, it just gets populated there. So whatever the title of your project is, um, maybe I'll do like Sprint01, half done. Just copy that over because it already got auto populated. So you do a little short description. Um, classification yeah you just leave it as a game so it, the big one here is HTML and it's you're gonna upload a zip file um, oop, and my build just completed so in the build complete it pops up the little window for you so I'm gonna select this stuff I'm gonna 7 zip I'm gonna zip it up all right, move this over for right now. Um, this stuff's not really that important. Uh, like the release status of it and stuff. You could, and for mine, I'll show you uh, my project real quick. That I called it Intro 3D Dev Class Sprint 01. You know, I gave it, oh, this is my Unity build for Sprint 01. I actually made a little image. All I did was click playing unity and I use the snippet tool and I and I was able to make an image for it and I use a, that for as a screenshot and here as a cover image uh, and that's all I need to show you from that so anyway I'm back over here with my half done project um, you just kind of add your cover letter screenshot um, some additional information if you care to the big thing down here upload the file so for me it was D Unity projects here, build, here's my build zip, we're good. It's just like a five, I don't know if you noticed, it was like five megabytes, pretty small. Um, I don't think I need to mess around with that. Oh, here, this file will be played in the browser. There we go. Yeah, you want to embed it? Sure. 
So you can manually set it or say auto detect. Notice it says Unity HTML only. So just auto detect. Actually, click on this mobile friendly. That was cool. It actually ran for me on my phone. You can give it a try. Um, and I think I just left these off. Yeah, you don't need the full screen button because Unity has that provided. Here it says don't do this. is not recommended for Unity. Then details. So your details that you're putting into your Moodle posting, your project description, you just post it in here. No, you don't need to worry about genre or tags. Um, disable comments. You don't want anyone leaving comments. Sure, it's fine. And for now, we can leave it as a draft. Um, but eventually, it needs to go into uh, public or something like, or this restricted. Either way, the, myself and the, the um, students need to be able to click on it. But I can switch that later. For now, I think we're good. I'm going to click Save and View Page. All right, let's see. Run game. So that's a splash screen. And cool. Here's I'm just painting white spheres. This is exactly what you saw in my Unity. This is exactly where I got to in the last video. I was able to build WebGL and upload it to itch.io, no problem, it works. Just know here's the full screen button. If you wanted that, that's great, it works. Unity provides that for you, press escape key, we're done. So, some of you um, use this link, and it's in draft state, it's not gonna work. So either you gotta do the secret URL, right? So this other people can see, um, or you got to go in to edit your game, and make it uh, public or uh, restricted. I think works too if you give us the link. Either case, what I asked you to do was log out of yourself. So I'm going to take this link, which now is just a standard link because you notice it's published. I don't need to do the secret link. I'll copy it. I'll log out. Once I log out, I'll test it. It works. That's great. That means anybody can play this. So this means that myself and your other classmates can test it. And I knew that because I logged out and the link still works. So you need to get to this point here, test it out. Any issues, come on in, here's the lab time. And I'll see you next week for our, the last week of lectures on this project.